With the start of the new year, Alabamians no longer need a permit to carry a firearm concealed, and that has some law enforcement agencies and people concerned about keeping track of who can carry a gun. News 19 Gate Capital reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more on the new tool law enforcement will be using to make sure that guns don't get in the wrong hands. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency has officially implemented its Firearms Prohibited Person Database. The statewide system helps officers flag people who cannot legally have a gun due to criminal history or other reasons. And really what this does, this database gives us the ability to, to figure out who are the people that need to have the guns and then who are the individuals that shouldn't have them. Aaliyah Sergeant Jeremy Burkett says when officers are giving out traffic tickets, for instance, they can be instantly notified if that person cannot have a firearm. I can now go that, get that information from that database uh, to be able to figure that out, whereas before they would be more steps. The database has been operational since October last year, so officers had a chance to prepare for the change. Burkett says since it's still so new, they will continue to monitor its use to see if any updates might be necessary. We'll continue to look for ways to enhance it. I mean, this is relatively a new process with some new laws, so you know we're sure there'll be things that, that we're able to learn and we'll kind of continue to develop and make the system better. This database is legally required as part of the law. It costs about $400,000 to implement and will cost $45,000 a year to maintain. Now you still can get a permit in Alabama and there are some reasons you might want to. If you'll be traveling out of the state, for example, some states do require non-residents to have a permit permit from their state of residence to carry concealed. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.